Hello, good morning, and thank you so much for coming to see how I make uh, how I bake my meat pie without an oven. This is the meat pie I'm just done baking right now. If you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell beside it to subscribe and get more videos like this. I'm just done making this. If you like this meat pie, stay with me as I'm going to start right now. Let's bake. These are the ingredients I'll be using to make this meat pie without oven. We have the ingredients for the dough and also for the filling already set out. Here is the onion I'll be using. The Irish potato and carrots already cleaned. I've peeled the Irish potatoes, washed and peeled. What is left here now is to just place on a chopping board and chop them into smaller pieces and I cut the onion too. Here is the seasoning cubes. You need some from here. The thyme I'll be using and the salt too. I have my vegetable oil already. The baking powder is here, the foil and the stones. These are the stones. I'll, I'll be using these stones for some time. When I'm done baking, I keep them. When I posted the recipe on the blog, these were the stones I used some years back. I can't remember right now, so I kept them because it's hard to find stones or tiny rocks like this where I live. So I just got these ones and I've been saving and using and reusing them. So that is the foil that will be covered on the stones. Here is where I'll sieve the flour, my measuring cup, and the flour is here too. This is what I'll be using. This Simas baking margarine or baking butter or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but we use it in Nigeria for baking. I use it. I'll, I'll need just half of this because the meat pie is going to be fried. So, sorry, I'm not frying meat pie today. This is a different recipe. I'm baking without oven. So, here is the minced meat I'll be using too. Our pot is already waiting. That's the pot seated there. This is the pot I'll be using. It's a large pot. And it's heavy based. This pot is really, really heavy based right now. I can't even lift it with my left arm. So, this is the pot I'll be needing. I'll use this pot. I'm going to line it, cover the whole of this pot with stones and the foil before baking. So, with all our ingredients and all the items we'll be using set out and ready to start with the filling. I, I like to get the filling ready. Sometimes I start with the dough, so let's start baking. You know what? We are going to start with the dough before the filling because we we'll need it to rest in the fridge or the freezer for some minutes. So while the dough is resting in the fridge, we'll come back here and start cooking the filling for the meat pie. So let's start mixing the dough first. I don't like to touch raw egg with my fingers. That's why I'm using this wooden stick, wooden spoon, or wooden spatula to mix the egg. If you can touch egg with your hands, then feel free to mix with your fingers. Then our water comes in. This is 150 mils of water I measured. So, but I'm just going to start pouring it gradually and mixing. When it's okay, I stop. I'm not just going to pour all the 150 mils in, in the dough, no. <laughs> Can you see it now? I'm going to measure what is left and tell you how many mils I used. I did not use all the 150 mils of water. For the two and a half cups of flour, one egg and just a half sachet of baking butter, which is just the half of that sachet is about 125 grams. So let's say with 125 grams of butter, one egg, and two and a half cups of flour, I just need very little water. I'm so happy I didn't pour in all the water at once. Because there's butter in there, you don't need much water. Just perfect. I'm going to just wrap this in a thin film, or in a clean film, and keep in the fridge while we make the filling. Just perfect. 
Well, the door is not that big. I don't think I'll go cutting clean things. This Ziploc bag should be okay to just wrap it in and keep it in the fridge. It's not a big door. It's just perfect. So, it goes to rest in the fridge. So while the flour stays in, I, I kept it in the freezer so it don't have to wait for long. So in the freezer, we'll just leave it for 10 minutes. So while the, the dough, sorry, set the flour. <laughs> while the dough is in the freezer, we are going to chop the vegetables and then start making the filling. Actually, the, 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 <laughs> I know my videos are getting better, but the nerves are still there. Today, again, I think my nerves got a better part of me. I forgot to add the one teaspoon of baking powder. That is the baking powder there. I didn't remember to add the baking powder to the dough. So we are going to bake it like that. I hope it turns out good because the recipe on the blog, on Nigerian Women blog, with pictures, I actually added salt and baking powder. So we are going to depend on the taste of the filling right now. So. I don't think I ever baked meat pie without baking powder before. How do you bake without baking powder? So let me see how it turns out. I'm not just going to give up right now. I'll continue. <laughs> for this video i just finished my workout I, 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 I haven't even had my bath thank god i'm at home today i'm cooking with my spot here on and then i come and start making mistakes to cancel the video no way i need it i need to cancel nothing we'll cook like that if, it, if, if the end result is not very good then i might not post it but if you see it posted on youtube that means it came out really good these days i started chopping my vegetables on ceramic, on old ceramic, because I don't know. I, I have just this feeling like my chopping board might be entering my food. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Whenever I'm using that chopping board to chop vegetables or cut things, I just feel like as if some little particles from it might be entering the food. So we are going to chop everything now. And I'm done chopping the vegetables. It's time to cook and bring out the dough from the freezer. Just a little oil to breathe the bottom of the pot. Onion a pinch of thyme. And season. To make the cooking faster, I'm just going to heat the pot for baking. I'm going to line it up with stones and heat it up so that when we are done cutting the meat pie, we just put it in there and bake. I'm going to put enough stones to cover the bottom of the pot and then light fire under it and let it start getting hot gradually. Well, the onion has found a bit translucent, so I'm going to pour in the instant. Without minced meat, I still make my meat pie half. Just boil my meat, seasoned with salt and onion. When the meat is cooked, I blend and use as minced meat for my meat pie. Because we are cooking the minced meat in low heat, it's not going to really dry up like that. The heat is very, very low under this pot, so the meat is not going to dry up until we add the vegetables. It's cooking. The stone really, really brown. Let me check. I think I need some salt. Just a little, then I check. Taste and see. It tastes cooked, so I'm going to add just a little of these vegetables. I want this meat pipe to be very meaty. I won't need all the vegetables I chopped. This should be okay. We are not making much. It's better to have excess filling than to have more dough than the filling. So <laughs> I need to advise myself right now. 
Add a little water and let the pot cook before we thicken with some flour. I need to add some more salt. Let me check. A little. Okay, our vegetables are cooked already. So we are just going to thicken with some flour before turning off the heat. Just a sprinkle of flour to so just help it thicken. If you leave it watery, it won't be easy staying in the dough before you seal. So it has to be thick so that when we drop it on the dough, after cutting, it should just stay wherever you drop it. Without water flowing all over your flat dough. Okay, the flour has thickened it already. It's thick now. There's no water in there, no more. You need to check again for the taste, salt and everything. Yum. So, I'm going to turn off the heat right now. Just leave it open to cool. Then for the other pot, it's heating up in very, very low heat. The big pot for baking is heating up. There's heat under it already, but you won't know. It's heating up rather right With the filling cooked, we are going to Flatten the dough and cut it now for baking. I just cut into three. So that's it. I finished cutting the dough. Now I'm going to grease the baking pan. We are going to use my baking pan in the pot. Just going to grease it and then place the meat pan here. You can use foil in the baking pan or you can still do this and use foil if you want. the egg white. I'll just rub it by the sides, just round to help me seal. If not, the dough won't seal. If you have a meat pie cutter, it will make this easier. Just close it, close it, and just use your fork on the edges. So, that egg white has helped it to seal completely, and this is it. I'm going to drop this in the baking pan right now. The pot has been heating in low heat for over 20 minutes now. So and now I'm done arranging the meat pies in my baking pan. The final thing is to egg brush. I have my egg whites. I'm going to brush them before we drop inside the hot pot.
I put some foil in the pot. I don't think that is really necessary. Without the foil, you can still bake. But since that was what I did, when I baked the first time without oven, so I'll just continue. I don't want to try any style and error right now after forgetting my baking powder. Let me do what I know. So that's it. Pot is very hot. I'm dropping in the baking the foil. I've covered the stones. Then this is the meat pie going into the pot right now. That's it. Then we cover the pot and let it go. So our meat pie has been baking in the pot for about 40 minutes right now. I have checked every 10 minutes to see if it's brown enough so we can flip. Now the pot is in very low heat. That's why we need to flip to cook the other side. So we are going to check now and see if it's brown enough for flipping. Okay, let's see. Let's take out one and see. <laughs> see it? It's brown enough, so I think we should just flip everything. I'm dropping it back in the pot and then flipping all this. Flip this too. Yeah. Flip the rest. I don't even know what they are making. Yes, now they are the only ones. I can't bake much because I'm baking in the pot and uh -huh. so i have to bake the size of the pot so now that i'm i'm done flipping the stove is on low heat i'll just cover the pot and wait for like 10 minutes and check again and see if everything is baked so it's exactly 10 minutes since we flipped the meat pies i think it should be ready by now let's check again and see i want to flip this i think it's brown enough I think they're brown. Okay. This one has been controlled by the sister. They're okay. They're brown enough. Okay. So I'm going to take the baking pan out of the hot pot. The cooker has been turned off already. The pot is really hot. I need a napkin. Okay. That is it out. It's hard. One broke while I was trying to flip them. So let's look at the pot and see this one. Can you see the bottom of the pot? That is the bottom of the pot. Very hot, but not burnt at all. So these are our meat pies. So this is a meat pie baked without an oven. We just finished baking them in a pot. Thank you so much for baking with me. Thank you for staying all through the baking of this meat pie without an oven. God bless you. And please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the meat pies.